I know. Now, put an ice pack on that motherfucking thing and snap out of it. Because I'm about to talk about some real shit. It's the Los Angeles Times. Drug deaths now outnumber traffic fatalities. Are we serious here? Are we serious here? Are drugs really killing more fucking people than traffic accidents? Now why are they killing people? Why are they killing people? Why? Are they killing people? All you people saying, where's the proof? Where's the proof? Where's the proof? Oxycontin, Vicodin, Xanax, Soma. Some of the videos I covered in my past. I mean, some of the drugs I covered in my past videos. This is from September 17th, 2011. So I want to hear any whining about my stuff is outdated. I started making videos earlier this year I started researching for these videos about two years prior to the first video and I started looking into psychiatry and researching what pills do and individual prescription pills do as much as 17 years ago and I was first disturbed about psychiatry 22 years ago so believe me I know what I tell you that this has to stop. Psychiatry is a great fraud, it is a murderous fraud, and these drug companies are profiting on people's lives. I would say say no to the war that may be coming in Iran. And also say no for sure for this drug war that is going on here. And no, I am not talking about the war on cocaine or the war on marijuana, which if you go to any site, is the top medical drug known to man. It has more, I'm mean, excuse me, top medical herb known to man. It has more medicinal effects than any other herb. Now, Jesus was the top healer, and I gave you the quote from the Bible. Okay, in Revelations 129. And God said, Behold, I have given you every plant yielding seed which is upon the face of the earth. So, this is what's going on. Their own centers for disease control and prevention are saying that. Now, if anybody is going to downplay this, it is going to be the same people who have allowed this to happen. The FDA, the CDC, the State Department, etc. The Department of Health. They're all to blame. I could go on about the different director's names, and I might make a, a little note and post them up later, but that's not what this video is about. Okay, this video is about put your dick in your pants and start using your brain. You know what I'm saying? Stop using prescription drugs and start using your brain. Because for some of you who are jacking off, might be using some of these damn drugs right here. You might, I might have just saved your life. I might have just saved your life by not giving you that perverted ass slut, but instead giving you some truth, injecting some truth into your life. You understand me? For the article, it's the LA Times. Date's right there for you. You know the, the authors, etc. Lisa Giron, Scott Glover, Doug Smith, etc. Now, why is this known? And you know, it, it, it doesn't really make sense. Marijuana is not killing anybody unless it's on a fluke these things are killing people for sure overdoses drug interactions gone bad people driving and passing out in the middle of the road 
and killing themselves. Can you imagine a mother driving her kid to soccer practice, stressing hard, and trusting her doctor to take the pills? And she found a way around the DMV saying that she shouldn't drive because she's got to take her kids to practice. they got things to do, you know? And so she kills them all. Because these cock-sucking, pharmaceutical, vampire, blood-sucking pieces of shit have been allowed to poison whoever they want like a bunch of Nazi criminal scum where they got all their ideas from. And I cover that in all my other videos. And I implore you, check out my psychiatry series. Check out my Illuminati series. They tie in together. Check out my Egypt series because this is the foundation of the secret societies who evolved into the big business banking cartels and conglomerates who control the different industries and food companies like McDonald's and pharmaceutical companies and etc etc the people who print studies and say oh Prozac is killing people but now we found a new use for it so we want to use it again the people that have been caught pine to put steroids in not only your food but in the pills that you were trying to take. And I covered that in my last video. Excuse me, my last, you know, one of my videos in my last, in, the, in my series. Now, my question to you all, who are just as skeptical about things that you read as I am, is if this is what they're willing to admit, these, these drug profiteers, these pill-pushing scum, these mad scientists, these Nazi Gestapo scumbags and their Hitler youth friends. Oh yeah, I love the pill. Yes, because you're meth head, pal. You take meth, you take prescription pills, you're not likely to agree with me. Well, fuck you, because I'm trying to save some lives here. I'm not trying to care about you get, making sure you get your drug, you know? That's not what I'm worried about. And the same thing with marijuana. If it was, even though it's in my best interest to have it legalized, because I believe that people should smoke it, and I believe Rastafarians have a religious light to it, I believe Christians have a religious light to it, on and on and on, even if it wasn't in my best interest, I would still say, look, this should be legalized because this is the top medicinal herb and it's in the Bible. Period. Okay, so I'm not, I have nothing to gain, nothing to lose anymore. Because in the midst of studying all this, you know, you can imagine my life went haywire. You know, it's just everything suffers. When you focus on the New World Order and you, you fight back, they, they fight back too, you know. But I'm not, you know, I'm not, you know, they, they, they can't fade me. They can put me in the deepest, darkest dungeon and starve me to death. And I'll be cussing them out my last breath. You know, fuck these motherfuckers. Fuck the prescription pills. I implore you, say no to Iran and say no to the Holocaust of prescription pills, abortion, abortion and no to fluoride in your city. If you sit on the city council and write notes to your city council and your senators and governors, you know, flood these people with your concerns that this prescription drug epidemic of death and pain and suffering through chemical digestion of evil beastly pills and I told you it has the mark on it but many of you didn't ignore me and look how many people died look how many people died and as as more and more people are taking prescription meds and one of five people have taken prescription meds <clears throat> look at the cost of it this is the price of you not believing me this is the price of you not listening to me but forget all that because it is not about me it is about those 40,000 people that died last year and that's shooting low. It is about these scumbag parasitic bankers and their system of death. Just like the Nazis had their death camp system, their system of death using physicians and soldiers and the military industrial complex and secret societies, so it is here. And you got the same sellout Jews who were the overseers of the camp, who knew where the Nazis hid their gold. Yeah, you're scum as well. You sided with the Russians after the war, and you led them to the fucking stash. You think I don't know? You should ex fucking expose all you scum.